Pat just surprised a viewer with some coffee. Let's check in. Hello, Patrick. Hi there, Robin. Robin, meet Marie McDonough Hello. of the Roscoe Village neighborhood. Tell me about yourself. How long have you have you been in Roscoe Village, first off? Well, my parents bought the house in 68. Oh, boy. So this is the house that I grew up in. You grew up in this house? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I had a couple little stints in Ireland and then a stint in London, but otherwise this was it. Oh, I thought you were going to say a stint in county, and then you said a stint <laughs> in Ireland and London. A stint in Bangkok. That's, that's much better. <laughs> you know, I used to live in Roscoe Village. Did, Did you ever see me walking around the... No. Uh, the I was on the other side of Damon. We're a little bit far away from oh, each other. Oh, going north, going toward yeah. Lincoln Center. Yeah, close to there. I saw Paul one day tooling around in uh, this was probably about ten years ago tooling what was around he a convertible. Doing? Oh, Paul or? Yep, he was. Yeah, I think he was going to Mariano's to get himself a sandwich or something. Did Paul have a convertible or was <laughs> yeah. that Larry? I yeah. can't remember. That was a, that was probably twelve years you, ago. I had a convertible. What yeah. does tooling around me? Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And then how long have you been watching? What's your history with WGN? How long have you been watching WGN? Oh, since just a Bambino. Really? Since yeah. you were a child? Oh, God, yeah. Jack Brickhouse, the Cubs, all those years, everything. And then really started in the mornings in 96 when Paul joined uh -huh. and Larry yeah. and Roseanne and yeah. they had that crew on the morning show. Let me ask you something. Has the morning show improved at all since 1996? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you guys are... Funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I love your segments when you go on the street and talk to people. Yeah. The Mother's Day one with the guy calling his mom. We texted herpes. his mom telling him he had herpes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was great. Yeah, that was a good one. So, uh, were you surprised when we knocked on the door? What was the first thing that went through your mind when you saw my big dumb face holding coffee and donuts in your in your doorway? I was thinking you had the wrong house. No. <laughs> we had the right house, Marie McDonough. Oh my goodness, Rebecca Sue. So what has she told you about me? She told me all sorts of things about me. Oh, she Lord. told me that you never go anywhere without your red lipstick. This is true. You wear it every single day. This is true. You don't even have anybody in the house right now, and you've already put on the red lipstick. Oh, my goodness, you just pulled it out of your nether regions. What the heck is going on? What else you got down there? You got a checkbook down there? Usually you got money. your keys and wallet? Usually money. Okay. It's cash. You keep your cash in your cleavage? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's handy. It's, Listen, like a, it's like a Yeti. Nobody's going to steal it from there, I guess, right? No way. Well, listen, I, she also told me that, um, that you're married to a chef, and she said you're married to a chef because you don't like cooking anything. Uh, is that true? Well, it's not that I don't like cooking anything. I just can't cook anything. You're not right a on. Good cook oh at all. Lord, no! I set off smoke detectors, and I yeah. can't. I can get four pots going on on top, but then I don't know. You know, I'll have uh, burnt meat and then half cooked potatoes. Mm -hmm. So I just can't get. The, it's a matter of timing, I think. I just can't get the timing right. Let me ask you something. Have you um, seen Robin's retro cooking recipes? Oh, indeed. Have you ever tried one of those? That might be just the thing that'll <laughs> jumpstart your culinary experience. No, I don't think I could even go there. Even though they look pretty simple. Yeah. But what I want to know is, on a level a level of one to ten, how bad is Paul's Conrad's heartburn after yeah. Yeah. one of those? Paul Conrad is an alien life form birthed from another planet. <laughs> Nothing affects that man. Yeah. He actually likes these dishes, which is just. He truly does. He truly does. <laughs> There's some. I love him to pieces, but there is something wrong with the man on a fundamental yeah, level. Yeah, agreed. We can discuss that a little bit more in the next segment. This is Marie McDonough, everybody. We're going to hang out a little while longer, get to know her Marie. a little bit better. For now, we'll send things back to you guys. Well, she's lovely. Lovely. Yes. Isn't that nice? Wow. Thanks for answering the door, Marie. <laughs> Courageous. <laughs> we'll be right back.